only 11 days left until the opening of the new school year, the Guam public school system is scrambling to find resources to help get schools ready. Today, more than 80 guardsmen helped transport more than 1,000 desks, 70 folding tables and another 400 chairs from JFK to Okadu High School, while another separate set is headed to a Stringo Middle School. National Guard PIO Captain Kenneth Ola. This is part of our um, community support efforts and uh, you know we're all part of the community. Guam National Guard is made up of many of the com all of the community members here. So uh, and, and we do have a state mission as well as a federal mission. So uh, this is one of the things we, we, we like doing and we enjoy doing this as part of the community. GPSS isn't only receiving help from the Guard but also from students. JFK school leader Craig Dahaji says he's happy to see students coming together despite the issue of having to double session at GW High School. I'm very grateful for like the students that, come, that came or that have been coming regularly for the past two weeks. And like you know, it really shows that they really do care about you know our school and how it like you know it shows like it shows a, a different side of the students that I would never expect to come here. Over the last several days, students have been obtaining boxes from local companies to help pack and transport textbooks from one side of the campus to the other. Now that the JFK students are set to share campuses with GW, Tahaji says weekly meetings will be held with both teams to discuss issues dealing with school and extracurricular activities. Meanwhile, JFK students like Arian Formacio say next time GPSS should prepare well in advance. I hope that they learn from this, not to hold off stuff. I hope that Gum Guam and GPSS takes this as a serious matter and they learn that you can't hold off things, you can't procrastinate, especially when it has to do with the whole school. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Michelle Cadahy.